Hi everyone, so a big order just arrived from Easy Composites. I'm doing a quick unboxing just to show you what I got. Um, might give you as well some ideas about mixing two products to get something new. Uh, that's why I'm asking you as well. Do you see a link in between products that you would like to see in some tutorials? Um, and so on. So I'll do the unboxing. It will be really quick. Really quick and I'll do a more detailed video about some products that are really interesting um, but I'll start with this okay so I've decided just to separate all the elements just a bit by order, like resins all together, these are most of the fibers and cores. So um, this is one I'm very excited about. So this is a Honeycomb 3mm uh, uh, core. Uh, I'll try to explain a bit more in detail in further tutorials and so on. So this is a 3D PET uh, infusion core. Um, I've seen this on some pictures, um, Easy Composites posted on their Facebook page and I just wanted to try something similar. Um, some images or a link should appear on the video now. <laughs> so um, what else do I've got? I've got some unidirectional um, carbon fiber. I got a 300 and 160 I think, I just have to check it. Um, but I'll give some more details uh, later on. This is something new as well, so this is a Biotex, um, I think it's with polypropylene. Uh, you don't have to use any resins, it's just like, um, it's a thermoplastic, so you can compare it a bit with pre break and so on, but at much higher temperature. And I'll need some better molds as well, so um, 180 degrees is quite difficult to reach, but I'll do my best. What else? Um, just some regular fiberglass, I got a 160 and a 300 grams and that's it about the fibers and so on, so up to the next okay so now I'm, now I'm up with all the resins and stuff so I'll, get, I'll just give a quick overview so here I've got an extra high temperature uh, epoxy hardener and resin so this is still 180 degrees celsius so this might, for example, be a good combination with the polypropylene Biotex uh, to cure at high temperatures. So that was, was I'm, what I was talking about by making combinations and so on. If you see other combination, combinations I haven't thought of, please share them in the comments down below or on Facebook as well. So um, I've got an EF80 resin, so this is a flexible epoxy system. So um, might be to make some flexible parts, maybe hinges and so on. Um, here we got the GC60, so I've seen this one in one of their tutorials and just wanted to try it out myself. So um, I'll add a link to that video in the right moment, so if you click now on the right top of this video you should be directed to the video where they are using it at that moment uh, so this is mixing just with a uh, mech p hardener ratio two percent so this is why i don't have a um a hardener next to it it's just because i already have some um then very cool i did some videos about clear coating stuff and so on with different colors so I'll be able to try to test it out a bit more. I've got many colors, blue, red, and so on. So this is a translucent uh, pigment, so it will give some transparency uh, through the resin and so on. So the fiberglass or the carbon fiber will still be visible. And then here we got some uh, silicon rubber. I have did use some... Um, silicon rubbers from some other brands and so on um, and I've just wanted to see how this one works as well 
Then we got a regular clear epoxy gel coat. Um, might be good in some molds uh, before infusion and so on. Then I got a carbon fiber skinning base coat. So this is a black base coat. Um, I'll do a skinning video as soon as possible. Then just some regular harness. So there's a fast one, there's a slow one. Uh, you can mix them together um, as long as you keep the ratios in between the infusion epoxy resin and the hardeners correct. So, um, for example, you do 15 of the fast one, 15 of the slow one, and then you combine it with 100 of the infusion epoxy resin, and you should get a hardener that is in between fast and slow. So it's kind of weird to say, but that's just how it works. So that's it about all the resins, so up to the next. Okay, so we're up to all the infusion stuff and so on, so I'll just check the paper so I don't tell you some mistakes. So we've got an infusion mesh, so uh, no, it's this one, so just I'll focus on it. This is like a flow mesh, most of you know, so it's transparent as well, so that might be l good just for the looks and so on during an infusion. And then I've just found something new, uh, a friend of me told me about it. So this is a knitted uh, infusion mesh, so it's much easier to bend it in tridimensional shape. So all of you that have seen my videos uh, infusing that uh, scale model car with Textream as well. Um, it was with a regular mesh and it should be easier just to drape it into the mold uh, with this mesh. So we've got some uh, release film. So this is a release film uh, good for uh, pre break and so on. This is a stretch bag film so um, like the name says, it stretches. Um, that's a perforated film. Um, good when you're doing some vacuum bagging and so on. And this is some 25 grams um, fiberglass. So it's really light. Um, might be good for some finishes and so on. Then we've got a 6 millimeter uh, hose. We also have the silicon hose that is good for higher temperatures and so on. And then we just got the breeder material. Um, good for vacuum bagging, pre break and that's about it I think. So up to the next. Okay, so we're up to all these smaller gear and so on. So when I show you this, it should ring a bell, this as well. So these are catch pot liners, so I finally got myself um, a catch pot. Um, let's see, I'll try just to open it up. This is um, a catch pot from Easy Composites. So this is what it looks like. Um, I was using another one I've made myself until now, but I thought it got time just to buy myself a better one just to avoid some problems with leaks and so on. Um, if you want to see my old catch pot, you can see it um, in the video that should pop up right on the right top of this video um, so that's about the catch pot so these are the liners when you buy the, the catch pot you already get I think it's one liner might be might be more so you get two liners right here so this is a rubber seal I think you can all buy it separately as well um, not sure if I'm correct um, so 
this is how it works. I'll just do a better video about it later on. Then, so bigger gaps means shell coat spray gun. So um, it's always a mess just to have to to brush it all on, brush your gel coat. Um, now I will be able to spray it on with an air compressor. Um, I'll do an unboxing later of all of this when I find some time. So this is good for the GC50 epoxy resin. Um, sorry, it's uh, polyester resin comp compatible with um, epoxy resin coming on top of that gel coat. So further on we got adhesives, so these are two component adhesives. Um, here's a system just to use it the better way. Uh, you can add it right in here and this will push the glue out of it. So further we've got some um, this is uh, a shrink tape, I was looking for the name, so shrink tape, you can make some tubes and so on with it, seen a lot of people talking about it on the uh, talk composites forum, um, if you don't know about the forum you can check it out in the link down below. Um, then we got um, something I forgot to add to the um, the other carbon fiber and unidirectional stuff and so on but this is a unidirectional tape um, might be good just to make some flanges and so on with it um, or small reinforcements on the sides then we got this it's an epoxy mold making putty so um, should enable me to make molds quicker um, I'll add a video as well on the top right you can see easy composites use it before and I've just wanted to test it out as well um, there's another guy on the talk um, talk composites forum um, I don't remember his name but he's doing some great stuff with it um, and I've just decided to test it out as well then we've got some small pieces it's not easy to open it up with one hand, so some smaller parts. So these are um, Y junctions. Don't know if it's the correct name. I'll just call it that. So um, these are good in combination with infusions. Um, easy composites use it as well, just to. Um, have two different colors bent, uh, I don't know, um, fade together, uh, mixed together just to get another color. So, for example, red is coming in, uh, yellow is coming in, and you get orange coming out of it. Um, then, just two small silicon connectors. They are much smaller than I expected, but they should work um, great. So, um, these are two, two of these. Um, good for infusion, you can reuse them. Um, I think if there are silicon connectors, you could heat them up at higher temperatures as well. So that's good. Um, next we have, so this is one of the connectors. I've been using it. Um, for a while now, I'm very, very happy about uh, these connectors. I'm just trying to open it up. And these are very good for pre brick and so on. So these are made out, out of aluminum. The biggest advantage, advantage is when you buy this valve, you can just um, shut this down find the correct way uh, have to put some force onto it okay 
So if you turn this down, you just shut down the vacuum. Then there's the I don't know how it's called. It's um, just to put the tube on it. So I think I bought a 12 millimeter one. Um, should be good with the silicon um, hose coming on top. And then we still have a small little box. I don't know what it is, but all uh, right. So this is a vacuum reader. Um, so it goes till one minus thirty. So another thing you can do with these connectors is, if I'm correct, you can just put it on here. Okay, so you get the stuff. So when you have this on the inside of your bag, you can just read it um, at which uh, vacuum you are in your bag. Um, this is perfect to do a drop test, just to see if you have a perfect vacuum and so on. So, that's about it's that's about all the products uh, so I've run through all of my new stuff and uh, like I said in the beginning of the video I'm really hoping um, you as well find some good combinations in between all the materials I got so I'm talking about the resins um, colors spray gun and so on um, I'm really hoping you as well are thinking with me just to find some new ideas for tutorials, combinations that haven't been made yet and so on. So I hope you enjoyed and that's about it. It's all about trying some new stuff. So um, I'll do it, I'll do some more detailed information later on in some further videos and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.